the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 207, Jeremiah 17-20 Pasha beats Jeremiah. The current picture of South Judah was that idolatry was prevalent. The blood of the innocent was shed and they perpetrated the evil custom of sacrificing humans. First point, God declared that South Judah's sin would be engraved with an iron tool. To South Judah, who asked what their sin was, God once again outlined it for them. God explained that those who were righteous would be blessed, and those who left God would be cursed. For a tree to grow tall and healthy, it is important where it is planted. Depending on where it is planted, the outcome can vary dramatically. The people of South Judah would have benefited from planting themselves in the right place. But unfortunately, they planted themselves away from God. Jeremiah prayed for these people as well as himself. Second point, God warned that if anyone came into the Jerusalem temple to sell something or with business purposes on the Sabbath, he would set fire to the temple. The foundation of a kingdom of priests was Sabbath and the five offerings. A kingdom of priests was based on the foundations from Genesis chapter 1, and it focused on Sabbath, sabbatical year, jubilee, Passover, Feast of Harvest, and Feast of Tabernacle. The five offerings were the bonds, grain, fellowship, sin, and guilt offerings. But the people of South Judah failed to keep even Sabbaths. Thus, God rebuked the people through Jeremiah. God explained that those who kept Sabbaths holy would be blessed, and those who did otherwise would be cursed. Those who looked for opportunities during Sabbaths were warned by God. God had previously emphasized through Isaiah the importance of keeping Sabbath and to not carry out other activities during Sabbath. Later on, when the people who came back from captivity once again tried to do business in Jerusalem during Sabbath, Nehemiah rebuked them. Third point, like Isaiah, Jeremiah also used the metaphor of a porter to teach the people of South Judah. God sent Jeremiah to the house of a porter. Jeremiah watched as the porter molded his clay, made it into a lump, and then molded it again. As the porter molded his clay, God showed Jeremiah that he also molded the countries. This was Isaiah's prayer when he used the metaphor of a porter. Yet to you, Lord, are our Father. We are the clay. You are the porter. We are all the work of your hands. Later, St. Paul also referred to this. After using the metaphor of the porter to teach the people, Jeremiah once again rebuked them for refusing to repent. When the people heard this, they did not repent, but rather tried to kill Jeremiah. Thus, Jeremiah cried out to God and asked him to judge them. Fourth point, through the symbolic act of Jeremiah breaking the clay work, God showed how South Judah was to fall soon. God told Jeremiah to go and buy some clay from a porter and take along some of the elders of the people and the priests to the valley of Ben-Hinnom. God tried to give South Judah a message regarding the Molech idol, and so he called them to the place of their idol worship. And there God declared his judgment on South Judah. God told them about the punishment recorded in Leviticus chapter 26 
and said that they were to receive it accordingly. Through Jeremiah's performance of breaking the clay, South Judah's punishment became confirmed. After declaring their punishment at the valley of Ben Hinnom, God declared punishment again in Jerusalem. God had molded Jerusalem with all his efforts, but the people had made it into a dirty place. Because of this, Jerusalem and the houses of the kings and the priests became a place where no one wanted to go to. This was all due to their sins. Fifth point. Priest the partial of the Jerusalem temple beat Jeremiah. When Jeremiah declared God's punishment on South Judah, priest the partial from the Jerusalem temple beat him and rebuked him. God passed on his message to Pasha through Jeremiah. This was that Pasha and his friends would be taken to Babylon where they will die. God even changed Pasha's name to mean fear on every side. This moreover symbolized that South Judah would become cornered. Jeremiah cried out to God, and his cry was like the cry of Job. Why did I ever come out of the womb to see trouble and sorrow and to end my days in shame? After this, Job opened his mouth and cursed the day of his birth. He said, May the day of my birth perish, and the night that said, A boy is conceived that they may turn to darkness. May God above not care about it. May no light shine on it. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 